Biden creates task force with 30 countries to combat illicit use of cryptocurrencies. The President of the United States has expressed that he wants to end ransomware networks, strengthen cybersecurity, and ensure the accountability of those who threaten the security of all nations. U.S. President Joe Biden announced that he is bringing together 30 countries to fight the illegal use of cryptocurrencies. Biden added that the U.S. will work closely with nations to address cybersecurity threats. The Biden government administration will create a task force to smother the effects of ransomware, the illicit use of cryptocurrencies, and various related issues. The rise in such attacks is one of the White House's top security concerns, with several agencies working in synergy. As October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, the White House has issued a statement from the President regarding the administration's cybersecurity efforts. In the text, Biden explained that the U.S. is working closely with nations around the world, including its NATO and G7 allies, to respond to cybersecurity threats. He goes on to say that collaboration will begin this month to accelerate the process that will improve police collaboration and fight cybercrime, especially those that make illegal use of cryptocurrencies. According to the president's statement, the objectives will be to foster cooperation between member states and law enforcement agencies to prevent the illicit use of cryptocurrencies and engage in these issues diplomatically. The text suggests that the organization could be called the Counter-Ransomware Initiative and that the first meeting should be held virtually. Biden also said his government would need the help of every American and every American business in this process. He highlighted the need to keep digital doors locked and generally do more to build secure technology, while educating consumers about the risks associated with the technologies they buy. The federal government needs the partnership of every American and every American company in these efforts. We must lock our digital doors by encrypting our data and using multi-factor authentication, for example, and we must build technology securely by design, enabling consumers to understand the risks and the technologies they buy," Biden continued. The U.S. President opined, I am committed to strengthening our cybersecurity by hardening our critical infrastructure against cyber attacks, disrupting ransomware networks, working to establish and promote clear rules of the road for all nations in cyberspace, and making clear we will hold accountable those that threaten our security. The President of the United States has expressed that he wants to end ransomware networks, strengthen cybersecurity, and ensure the accountability of those who threaten the security of all nations. This is not Biden's first attempt to stop ransomware attacks. Last month, the U.S. Treasury Department announced a set of actions in this regard. And now, the President hopes to keep the momentum going. Also, last week, Bitcoin soared when Fed's Powell says the U.S. has no plans to ban crypto. Bitcoin jumped, rising in a matter of minutes to its biggest daily gain since July. The largest cryptocurrency gained as much as 10% or early in New York trading. Bitcoin had slumped 7.6% in September amid concern about increasing regulatory pressure in China, and the U.S. traders offered a variety of possible reasons for the gains while noting that the fractionalized market leaves digital assets vulnerable to volatile price swings. Some pointed to comments early Thursday by Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, while others cited price levels closely watched by technical analysts. We could be seeing the beginning of some decorrelation with traditional markets here, said Vijay Iyer, head of Asia Pacific with cryptocurrency exchange Luno. Early to say though. But that whole narrative that didn't play out all of last year might just be taking shape. Especially since a lot of the uncertainty with regard to the US debt ceiling, China clampdown, etc. Crypto seems to be in its own bull cycle and continuing higher, Powell said in a congressional hearing Thursday that he had no intention on banning cryptocurrencies. He did, however, add that stablecoins might be appropriate for regulation.